What's up guys, Chuck Wagon back at you, and today I want to discuss some more thought processes that can help you become a better player. Now in the last video I did on thought processes, I talked about some basic routines I did to focus on a couple things such as recoil control, peaking, cornering, etc. There will be a link down below to that as today's topic ties into that video pretty well. Now as for today's topic, the idea behind the mantras is you keep doing things until they become force of habit or second nature. Then you move on to some new ones or you revisit some old ones as a refresher. Now I will say everything that I talk about in the thir first thought process video derived from focusing on specific areas of my gameplay and it really helped me break out of a lot of bad habits and create good ones that became the foundation for my gameplay. Now, an example of uh, some ones that I've recently began focusing on, or I should say refocusing on, is to play under control. I find myself, a lot of times I'll get in a match, and then I'll just kind of get in that Zerg mentality, and I'll just kind of rush in, try to force the issue, try to just keep pushing the same point, same lane, same thought process and tactics, and more often than not, I just end up dying a lot, getting kind of frustrated, and so forth. So what I've started to refocus on is to slow down, be patient, and don't force the issue. Don't rush in, wait for the right moment, let the action unfold in front of you, make them come to you, and capitalize on the opportunity. And I've really started to see some uh, good positive results from that because I'm playing a lot slower, um, paying more attention to the minimap, and specifically focusing on, all right, where What's the enemy doing? What direction are they going? Am I going to be able to get a good flank coming from this way? Or should I uh, kind of back up, reassess the situation, and uh, look at a possible alternative route? Now, one thing I would do going back to my uh, early days in BF3 was I would grab a large post-it note, write each of these mantras down, and then I'd, you know, just like the example I gave, just put a little detail into it, and then I would stick that right to the bottom of my monitor, and then during each gaming session, it was right there in front of me. It was fresh in the front of my mind. And, you know, every time I would die, I would, you know, kind of think about why I died and look at the, the uh, post-it note. And it's like, well, okay, I really wasn't following that specific uh, thing that I'm focusing on. So I, you know, just kind of take a step back and start to put that thought process back in the front of my mind and try to adjust my gameplay. And I really think these can be beneficial if there are certain areas of your gameplay that you don't really like, that you're not really pleased with, that you feel you're struggling with. Just, you know, writing these down and looking at these, you know, every time you start a gaming session or while you're in a match, it just kind of keeps them, you know, again, fresh in your mind and you just keep focusing on it until it becomes, you know, second nature. And, you know, one thing I did when I first really started doing these you know, I would, like I said, put them on the monitor and then I would, you know, kind of work at it and I'd keep them up and I'd reassess them about every week to two weeks. And I really wouldn't put more than three up on the monitor. That way I'm not, you know, focusing on way too much and just kind of overload myself. But I really, really felt they helped quite a bit. And one way I really kind of measured the progress was I would you know, look at my stats on bf3stats.com, now bf4stats.com. But I would also, you know, just kind of keep track of how many times I was finishing in the top 10, the top five, the top three in a match and see if I was really making any progression or if I was still, you know, in the middle of the pack to the bottom. And slowly but surely, I started to kind of keep climbing up, climbing up, climbing up to where, you know, I was consistently you know, one of the top scorers in the match. So hopefully you find this tool to be a pretty useful one and that it helps you to improve on certain areas of your game and that it helps you to change up your thought processes to net you some better results on the battlefield and to make it a little bit more of an enjoyable experience for you. That's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you could, please go ahead and like and share the video. Helps me out a ton. And uh, go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. I think you're going to enjoy a lot of the stuff that I got coming up on the channel. But that's it for now, guys. We'll see you in the next one.